Hello Soul Family, I love you all, hope everyone's having a beautiful day today. This is going to be a short video, just breaking down emotions and what they are. Uh, a beautiful little saying that I've, I've heard quite a few times is that emotions are energy in motion. Emotions are energy in motion. So, if I'm sure that each and every one of you could definitely re relate to this, but let's say that you get into let, let's let's just go with a positive emotion, happiness and joy and excitement. So, what's the feeling that you get when you get super excited? Let's say you're at like a fair or a carnival or something, and you're about to get on to a ride the anxiety and excitement and everything you can literally feel the energy moving throughout your body probably start down here in your gut and kind of move up into your chest where your heart is and you'll get your heart pumping really hard you can literally feel the um the energy moving throughout your body because you're feeling these emotions emotions are coming from the etheric triad or the element of water um, they're literally coming through the ether which is a, like a place where everything is still pretty much pure energy in motion but um, let's take this to a different scenario so something along the lines of you get angry at someone or you know um, someone really gets you upset and you actually can feel this energy moving throughout you in a very similar way as whenever you were feeling the happy emotions, the excited feelings or whatever. You can definitely still feel these. Except most of the time whenever you get into one of these lower emotions, anger or sadness or depression or something, it can literally, especially anger, it can literally make you physically shake. And that's because literally there's so much energy building up. Anger is such a powerful, fiery energy that it it can make your body shake, make your voice quiver, make your heart be pumped, make your breathing out of whack, like it literally can make you completely have physical symptoms from it or whatever. And here's another thing to think of. You know, um, everybody talks about when they're upset and they're angry, they're like, I was just seeing red. Why do they say that? Why do they say they were seeing red? And the reason behind this is because red is connected to the root chakra, the survival chakra, the physical chakra, the one connecting you to the earth. This is the chakra that you're using just to survive and get through everyday life. And um, when you're feeling angry, you get into a fight or flight type mode. And th this is just showing another thing about how energy is in motion uh, with the fight or flight thing because like the energy propels you to do one or the other but the reason that they're seeing red is because their lower nature when they're getting angry is coming all the way from that root chakra up here into their third eye and crown chakra and um, that's why they're actually seeing red the, they're seeing that lower nature rise up within them and that's a physical manifestation of that root chakra being activated that fight or flight the anger response the and, um, you know, um, hatred is just love on an opposite polarity. And, you know, um, it can be triggered by many things, but love is one of the biggest things that actually triggers hate. And um, it all has a lot to do with your emotions. That energy in motion moving throughout your body and stuff is what can transfer from one polarity to another and how quickly it can happen. But that's just about all for the video. I don't want to make this too long, but emotions are energy in motion. And that's why you can actually feel them physically. And once we get to a state of spiritual maturity, whenever we can rise above our emotions and not allow these emotions to take hold and to wreak havoc within our physical life, we have to rise above the occasion and and not allow these things to to physically affect us and affect our being and our state of being 
um, this is very difficult to do, and you will always, as being human, no matter how enlightened or awoken you are, you're always going to have, the, especially those that love you are the easiest ones to trigger these emotions, but you're always going to have some sort of state where these emotions can, you know, trigger a response. But our goal is to get to a point where although that energy is triggered within, we don't express it outwardly. We don't allow it to affect our state of being and our actions. And um, that's, I think, just about, oh, just about all for this video. <laughs> I love you guys. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Mwah. Out of to the stars. Let's go.